Before I jump into the main topic, here is an important detail. If you are preparing for a tech role, then you must choose a solid career track. Visit sandfoundry.com slash training to know more. Dear friends, uh, in this particular problem, I am going to talk about uh, another rule in C programming language where we have slightly different answers based on how things work on the stack. Okay, So you will see uh, in this particular uh, piece of code where we have defined a character variable. right? So once you have this character variable C, we assign a value of minus 1 here. Okay, So we are initializing, uh, not really initializing, we are assigning a value of minus 1 and then we are trying to display the outcome. So like uh, any other video, you should try to pause it. Once uh, you look into your solution for this, uh, you should resume. Okay. So we will jump into the lab now and try to understand quite more detail about this entire you know, um, uh, printf and uh, how things work a little bit you know, in terms of uh, special rules in programming language for functions like printf. Okay. So let's go uh, into the uh, code. Uh, you can certainly uh, have pause the video, try to write your answer. Once you have written your answer, then only you should go into the lab exercise. So let's go into the lab now. Uh, in this lab, uh, we will have the code program. So this is the code. Uh, let me run this code now. And uh, compiled and the runtime output here. So when you see the runtime output, uh, I am sure that you know some of you have already thought about it that it is going to be a minus one which should be represented as, as a hexadecimal number. Now few of you may not know what is the hexadecimal notation for minus one actually. Okay. Yeah. So couple of things. It is not going to be minus one as you already know actually. Okay. It is going to be in hexadecimal a very large value. Some of you might have thought slightly different answer like maybe just an FF will come. Okay. FF is expected to come, but because of certain uh, rules around uh, printf, okay, which is a specific function, a very special function, okay, in terms of C language, you are getting a lot of Fs here, okay, and that is what I will also, you know, explain. Before that, I think we should go and then try to, you know, do a bunch of experiments on this code, okay, because some of you might be wondering why you are getting this answer. Um, let me make slightly simpler code now, okay, because hexadecimal notation may not be a uh, uh, known uh, conversion things for many of you. So I'll convert into a decimal which many people are you know used to. So when you try to print uh, data like this, so obviously the answer is uh, going to be as expected, right? Okay. So let's see our expectation actually. Okay. So you will see that we are going to get minus one. That becomes a very simple code, isn't it? Now we will try to do some variations on this as I told you. Suppose I am going to write here, you know, 255. Okay. So when you write here 255, uh, what we should get is the main thing, right? Okay. So we'll compile this code once again and then you got minus one. So this is slightly interesting here, right? Because uh, many people might think that we are going to write uh, 255. So the answer should have been 255. But we have to understand that uh, some of these uh, values that we use, right, basically they are internally represented in the memory and then some conversion rule applies there, especially when you, you know, talk about printf actually, okay. So let's get into that. So I think uh, you understood what I'm trying to say. So you will not really get an FF here, okay. FF is 255 internally actually, okay. So you are not getting FF. So my original original code which was here like a printf you can see the first one actually okay when you see this first one so when you see this first one um, and run this you are getting ff some of you might have expected as an ff only okay not this uh, eight times f right so uh, the code looks pretty simple as many of you have seen you know we have hardly three printf and a lot of people who have been trying this uh, are getting different uh, 
sometimes unexpected answers okay so let's put our focus back about why we are getting so many apps okay so so the summary of this exercise was uh, if you do decimal you get some expected outcome and for some of you it's an unexpected outcome right and again for some of you still it's an unexpected outcome okay so let's uh, dig further and uh, i'm going to explain uh, this phenomena you know or this uh, output the way you see it actually okay so when you talk about a character so character c is basically an 8 bit entity as all of you know 8 bits basically has a minimum and max value of you know so many zeros right you can see or you can say 111111 right uh, in my lot of videos that you might have seen in advanced C programming series, I have created a video on advanced C programming, right? If you have not really seen that, I think you should see advanced C programming complete playlist. Uh, I have done a, a very large set of videos there to, uh, to make sure that people understand about uh, how a number or a data type is stored in memory. Once you understand that representation, then things become simpler for you, okay? And then I generally make use of examples of only character type because characters are easy for us to understand in terms of memory representation because they are just, they are just 8 bit or 1 byte, okay? So the mean and max values for them generally, you know, uh, ranges uh, between 0 to uh, 255 for an unsigned number. And uh, for a signed number, the min and max uh, goes from minus 128 uh, all the way up to 127, right? Okay, so this is very interesting because just now I made use a signed number, right? Signed character. By default, uh, this is a signed character as you know, okay? Because if you don't specify an explicit qualifier, it's a signed. Signed character, the min and max I have already written down here actually, okay? Right, it is minus 128 to this, right? Okay, minus 128 to 127 so if you see our original uh, original explanation right c equals to minus 1 it falls in this range but the question is what is uh, c equal to minus 1 internal in memory uh, since i have already done many in other lot of videos you know i have i have explained the two's complement notation so you should watch other videos to understand how minus 1 in under two's complement notation is represented as this okay so it is plain one 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 okay yeah so so if you convert this number into if you convert this number uh, into hexadecimal so it will be this is a this this you know this one 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 was this four is nothing but a 15 which is f and this is again 15 right so this is also f so a lot of people uh, will certainly have a correct understanding that the output of this is supposed to be a is supposed to be a ff right i think that's the output that is expected but in reality you are not getting this output as uh, only ff you are getting this output as many apps right basically so we are talking about uh, ff then once again ff then ff and then ff right so this is the output you are getting right why because because of printf printf is a special function okay so printf is one class of functions which are known as variadic functions okay so what is printf uh, printf is a, is a variadic function variadic variadic function which means it can take multiple number of arguments right so it can take either g one argument two argument three argument and so on and so forth so you can have any number of you know arguments basically on printf right so there are certain rules uh, for variadic functions okay and one of the rule especially is you know whenever if you think about this printf function okay how many arguments are there there is first argument and there is a second so two arguments are there right so we have two of them so this first is a string and the second is basically a character the way you see because this is a character c right so the rule is by default if you supply a character data type as one of the argument to a printf then it gets converted into a integer i repeat so in variadic functions uh, generally right especially for printf there's a default argument promotion rules arguments get promoted actually okay so based on this rule, the character data type gets promoted to a integer data type. Okay, so remember that character gets promoted to a integer data type. 
so when you say minus one minus one is ff okay as you all know but minus one is minus one is a signed entity as you know right okay so minus one gets promoted to a 32 bit entity now so it's a minus one again right so minus one as a 32 bit so some of you in my earlier classes knows that you know if you if you have to convert this minus one into a 32 bit entity which is a four byte it is nothing but ff ff four bytes right all are ff and that's where you are trying to see this magic actually okay so when you see this you really get this answer okay so if i run this code with this explanation i am sure that you know you will now agree that you know your answer is nothing but all ff 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 right i think i think that's where you know we have to understand some of the internal things so on the stack um, the elements get pushed you know as a four as a four byte entity you know in this case right okay because it's a character data type so some of you might still have a doubt you know how do we make sure that um, it is uh, pushed or the value of only ff gets displayed here right so the value of ff actually right okay so we can do certain you know uh, uh, certain work here we can modify this code okay to make sure that if you are only interested in ff is to display ff because that's what you really wanted to you know uh, uh, to be shown to the people actually right in your code so yeah we can do certain variations on this and we can say that yes this see what you are seeing here right we can we can cast it actually right we can say we can say cast it so we can say unsigned so we can say it's an unsigned character instead of a signed character actually right okay so we say that this is an unsigned value this assignment what we are doing right we are assigning it but we say it's an unsigned character because when you say unsigned character of uh, say uh, ff actually right so um, so no it's an unsigned value so it just gets promoted in that uh, style right it's an unsigned so you will not have ff all of them because unsigned uh, um, character ff is just the highest value or uh, 255 as as you know right okay it's a 255 right so this will be all promoted as 255 only and all zeros will be prefixed actually okay in the in the 32 bit representation so when you see this uh, when you run this code what you will see is you will see the second line actually ff right so this was a signed entity and this was an unsigned entity now what is the reason that you know i i, I spend a lot of time with all of you you know in trying to explain this because of the debugging abilities actually okay when you do programming in kernel or when you do programming um, for drivers uh, as well as for a lot of you know real world applications actually we use a lot of debuggers actually we use our own print apps also right okay so when you use your own print app when you use debuggers you really need to know what's there right and then the core of that is nothing but your data type just remember the core is data type you need to really understand what is the data type because a lot of these are governed by that okay if your data type is something like signed versus unsigned or a size of one byte or four bytes and when you when you're using printf issues can happen you have to be careful about it so the data might be correct but your interpretation your knowledge may not be correct and you will always think why you are seeing so many ffs you this is just you know um, uh, this is just uh, wrong right okay so i think uh, most of the programming uh, related issues you know happens uh, in terms of memory and a lot of memory issue comes up when you do real world coding actually okay so i hope uh, this video would have helped you to understand a lot of corner cases again i repeat corner cases corner cases are very important okay because that's where we get a lot of bugs actually so make sure that when you want to do your own debugging um, uh, you pretty much know what you are doing as a printer because a lot of people start the you know uh, activities of debugging using print app so you have to be careful with your print app okay all right so thank you very much for watching this video uh, i will uh, see you in another video